Kendrick's car collection is anything but humble, but coming from the streets of Compton, we think he has earned the right to splurge every once in a while. Let's take a look at Kendrick's car collection. While Kendrick has a tendency to drop classic album after classic album, he also enjoys classic cars. The 1992 Cadillac Seville was his first car, and it was also his dad's car. His dad customized the car by replacing the stock doors with Lamborghini doors, which is quite the sight to see. The first car that Kendrick bought himself was also a 1992 Cadillac Seville. This vehicle was named 1992 Car of the Year, and comes with a 4.9 liter V8 engine that unleashes 203 horsepower. The interior of the vehicle has a European feel and was the closest an American car company came to delivering that feel at the time. The sunroof is optional on certain models and the trunk space increased from previous models. The biggest change the 1992 Cadillac Seville saw from previous models was that it was stretched out by almost 16 inches, giving it a sleeker look. The Seville can go from 0 to 60 in just under 9 seconds. A base version of this car goes for $34,975, while the Touring goes for closer to $40,000. Coming in with another lowrider is the 1964 Chevrolet Impala. Valued at $30,000, this car is a 3.8 liter 6 cylinder engine that can put out 140 horsepower. What makes this car special is it is the last Impala to use the X-Type frame, which is capable of handling the stress caused by hydraulic hopping or, in the words of Ice Cube, hitting the three-wheel motion. The three-wheel motion is when you are able to drive an Impala on only three wheels. The X-Type frame makes this vehicle highly sought after since the 65 version and onward changed to a perimeter frame. The 64 Impala was Chevrolet's second most expensive car, which means the exterior and interior had to be close to top of the line. Front passengers had bucket seats with aluminum edging. Those in the back also had bucket seats, extended armrests, and the seats were covered in a leather-like vinyl fabric. Five passengers can fit comfortably in this vehicle, which has become an icon for the lowrider and hip-hop culture. One more lowrider pulls into Kendrick's garage. This vehicle was one of the last big body designs by Cadillac. The 5.7 liter V8 engine is one of the many reasons this car continues to be popular. Cadillac estimated that the Brom could get up to 60 miles per hour in 10.5 seconds, which is definitely impressive given the fact that this vehicle pushed nearly 4,300 pounds. Six adults could comfortably ride inside and could expect a smooth and quiet ride. The Cadillac Brom would set a buyer back $27,950. While this isn't the flashiest lowrider in Kendrick's collection, it definitely has that classic lowrider look and is comfortable enough for a ride with friends or family. Now we can talk about Kendrick's first car that was made in the 21st century with the 2018 Range Rover Sport. This mid-size vehicle is available with two or three rows of seating depending on your needs and has four powertrain options that begin with a 340 horsepower 3 liter supercharged V6. For you gearheads out there, your other options are a 254 horsepower 3 liter turbo diesel V6 and a 5 liter supercharged gas V8, which is offered in a 518 horsepower version or 575 horsepower. The estimated 0 to 60 miles per hour is 4.3 seconds in the SVR version of the Range Rover Sport. The interior offers slimmer front seats and semi-aniline leather. Some of the technology in the 2018 Range Rover Sport is the Activity Key wristband, which allows you to leave your keys inside the car and reopen the doors with a wearable, waterproof wristband. The spacious front console has removable cup holders, 3.2 liters of storage, an optional refrigerator, and a gesture-controlled sunroof. The 2018 Range Rover Sport comes in at $75,800. The 2018 Mercedes G-Class is the Mercedes-Benz flagship SUV. This vehicle was built for off-road luxury and houses a 4-liter V8 engine with an output of 460 horsepower. We can expect this car to go from 0 to 60 in less than 5 seconds and to reach a top speed of 131 miles per hour. The 2018 model offers a 2.1 inch increase in length, giving passengers a little more legroom. This car comes standard with a dual side exit exhaust system, stainless steel brush guard, Napa leather upholstery, 10-way power heated and ventilated front seats, heated rear seats, and interior ambient lighting. There are other interior upgrades like a rear seat entertainment system. 
You'd never know from the interior of this vehicle that it was built to traverse rocky terrain and steep hills, but given its boxy exterior, we know nothing is going to stand in its way. The 2018 Mercedes G-Class comes in at $123,600. While all the other cars mentioned previously are unique in their own right, we finally have a car that looks as flashy and sporty as you'd expect from a Pulitzer Prize winning wrapper. The BMW i8 is a hybrid vehicle that is driven by a turbocharged 1.5 liter 3 cylinder engine and an 11.6 kilowatt battery pack and two electric motors. Everything under the hood is capable of generating 369 horsepower and can reach top speeds of 155 miles per hour. We can expect a 0 to 60 time of 4.2 seconds from this environmentally friendly sports car. According to Hot Cars, the BMW i8 was the best-selling electric sports car in 2020. While this car does have a back seat, there is barely enough room for an adult, so unless you don't care about your friend's knees, then it's recommended you fold the seats down to add more trunk space. If you take this car out for a spin, you would notice how quiet your ride is, and that's due to the chemically hardened glass that is between the engine and the passenger compartments. This glass is normally used on smartphone screens, but since the glass is both thin and durable, it is perfect for adding protection while keeping the weight of the car down. The BMW i8 comes in at $147,500. Aside from buying cars, Kendrick also likes to invest in real estate. His first home that he purchased was in the LA suburb of Eastvale for $523,400. This home has four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a swimming pool. He recently sold the Eastvale home for $800,000, netting Kendrick a profit of $276,600. He bought his current and primary Manhattan Beach, California home in 2019 for $9.7 million, and has kept the interior a secret from the rest of us. However, we do know that it has a three-car garage, plenty of windows, and a wraparound terrace. Kendrick believes in investing in real estate, and it is reported that he bought a $2.65 million Calabasas home as an investment property. The home includes four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, a spa, swimming pool, and a personal gym. According to Zillow, renting a house in Calabasas can cost anywhere from $4,750 per month all the way up to $30,000 per month. If Kendrick were to list his Calabasas house for somewhere in the middle, and let's say at $15,000 per month, that home would make him $180,000 per year. At the 2022 Glastonbury Festival, Kendrick wore a diamond crown of thorns during his performance. This crown, made by Tiffany & Co, took 10 months and over 1,300 hours of labor, split between four artisans to complete. It is made of high-polished titanium and has 50 rose-inspired thorns. It features over 8,000 cobblestone micropave set diamonds that were hand-set in northern Italy. This extravagant piece of headwear costs $3 million. Did you know that the vehicle on one of the alternate covers of the album, Good Kid Mad City, is a 1996 Chrysler Town & Country? That car was also his mother's that he would borrow frequently. Kendrick Lamar's net worth is now $75 million, so we think it is safe to say that he has come a long way from cruising around Compton in his mom's town and country. He has won 14 Grammys, nominated for Album of the Year three times, and his album, Damn, won a Pulitzer Prize making him the first rapper to win that award. You can find references of cars all throughout Kendrick's lyrics, so it's no surprise that he owns several iconic vehicles in the hip-hop community, and a few flashy rides as well. This good kid has gotten himself some mad cars. While having major success in his rap career, Kendrick also believes in solidifying his financial future outside of hip hop, which he demonstrates by owning investment properties and by preaching, if you get your first big check and you cop a chain before you buy a house, you're a vanity slave, in his song titled, Vanity Slave. Kendrick is often in the conversation regarding the greatest rappers of all time, and that is due to his lyricism and politically fueled performances. From representing Christ in his Glastonbury performance of Savior, having a literal fire performance during the 2017 MTV VMA Awards, the collaboration with Imagine Dragons at the 2014 Grammys, and leading a chain gang onto the stage at the 2016 Grammys before transitioning to having African tribe dancers with a large bonfire on stage while performing The Blacker the Berry and All Right 